If it wasn't for the Journey Worker Program, I feel like I'd still be looking for work. Before I got into the apprenticeship program, I worked somewhere else, got laid off because the mill was shutting down, and it was very hard for me to find a job. When I first got into this line of work, I didn't, I didn't expect to see hardly any women you know, around, and now I've gotten to the point where you go to a job and there's almost, there's almost always at least me and one other woman working. The women in the workforce is growing. There are many challenges to working as a single mother, not knowing with you know one stable income how I was going to provide for daycare and for two. So researching different daycares, they're expensive, very, very expensive. Everything is taken care of through WDI. They pay a certain portion for me, a big portion for me, I like to say, and I pay a, a smaller portion of it monthly. WDI provides uh, just a peace of mind to know that your children are somewhere licensed with people who definitely have their best interests in mind, who definitely know the skills for education. I would either be doing this myself and then lacking income, or I would be needing this to work. And essentially, this is what the program is helping me do. Right after 9-11, we struggled in business. Business uh, declined and we were looking for help. We were trying to figure out what to do to be stronger as a company and we reached out to various organizations and WDI was one of the few that just stepped right up and um, they gave us grant money to hire another local firm to come in and do this planning with us. and. It really got us focused on where we were going in business. This was my dad's legacy. So I, I am very determined to be successful and keep this company growing. There are a lot of funds that come into the city of Newburgh, but yet the impact on the unemployment rate has been almost non-existent. So the citizens and this grassroots organization lost confidence in the city government's ability to be able to handle this situation. WDI is helping women in the area to try and overcome some of the barriers to unemployment through the functions that we're doing with the coalition. The inner cities definitely need the focus because we can't move forward as a country if we're not going to focus on the inner cities where there's a lot of blight and a lot of problems that need to be worked out one day at a time, one solution at a time to move us all forward. I'm Debbie Finn and we are at Findale Farms in Holland Patton, New York. I am a partner of the business and when my husband and I came to the farm, we were milking just 60 cows and we've grown to now milking 570 cows. I do think that there is a lot of opportunity for women in the dairy industry and in the agricultural field in general. The Annie's Project was a place where we all felt very comfortable to talk and, and get issues out with other women in the industry. HC4 stands for Health Careers College Core Curriculum. It's a uh, program designed to help people go back into college or start college for the first time. Um, I'm not gonna lie, my life been pretty rough, like, cause I'm like from the, one of the roughest parts of the city of Rochester. Programs that we've put on with the support of the WDI 
have made it possible for a lot of people to do things they never thought they could do. Right now, I'm currently enrolled in Monroe Community College. Um, it's going good. Like when I be at school, I be so happy because I love to learn. I love to just build myself up. This might be one of the greatest accomplishments accomplishments of my life. I really believe that I wouldn't be at the spot in my life that I am right now today if it wasn't for the AC4 program. worked at the General Motors powertrain plant in Messina for 24 years. Closing of plants devastates families. Um, families break up, families get closer, families go through depression. And taking the class, you know, you got to see their lives. The class gave us that, being a part of their lives and memories. When I'm two years sober, I feel healthy, I feel good. I'm just learning, living. You know, I'm, I'm learning a whole new life. Time goes by and then, you know, next thing you know, you're losing your house, you're losing the car, you're losing the family. And then, I don't know what happened, but, you know, one night I just woke up. I went to rehab in a halfway house and now I'm here. My future goal is to be a chemical dependency counselor. Interning, hopefully, at the treatment center that I went to, or the halfway house that I went to. There was something unique about the women being given this class and given the opportunity to come together and do something that they would have no time. I mean, they have to work. They're trying to put their lives back together. The people who see this or the people who see the pamphlets and stuff are going to get an awareness of you know, who we are. Mm -hmm.